On the last episode, we made $50 selling grain. This time, we just received a telegram from a lady named Lillian in Valentine, expressing her interest in buying some grain, but something just doesn't sit right. Hey, good evening. How you doing? Hello. Doing good. Are you Roy? Yes, I am. Are you Lillian? Uh huh. I'm Lillian. Pleasure uh, to meet let's you. Let's go in here. I don't wanna. You really are a stupid sort of bitch, aren't you? Wait. <laughs> Put your fucking hands up. What the no. fuck are you Larry? doing? Larry, don't yeah. do that. You're stupid, Larry. Larry. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Larry, put the gun Lillian, down. Larry, what are you doing? Lillian, Lillian, Larry, Lillian, put, put the gun down. down. My brother, put Lillian. the gun down, bro. We, we brothers, we just sit here and have a little chat, that's all. Can you stop pointing the gun at least? Fine, fine, fine. Come on, sit in this so, bench over here. We're going to have a little chat. I rode all the way over here in the rain. <laughs> $50 for selling that cheese bowl grain? This grain will make me more than $50. Oh, man. Look in your face, man. All right. Give me our father's pocket watch. That's what I wanted to see you for. I don't got no pocket watch. I know you no have pocket. the pocket watch. Just don't give it over. It won't be no trouble. And now we can go on about our business again. Come on. Fork over the pocket watch. Where you at? got no pocket watch. Are you really going to make me do this? You can check me if you want. I got nothing on me. All right. <laughs> He's trying to okay. stab me. Just stay in the corner. Jesus Christ. What's your problem? What is your problem, Larry? Stay behind me, Roy. Larry! I'm just trying to get what's mine. That's all. I ain't got no pocket watch, Larry. Just hand over the watch and that's it. It was part of my inheritance, not yours. So hand it over. I already told you, you could check me if you want. Alright, well where'd you put it? I didn't put it anywhere. You're really stabbing your own brother for a pocket watch. Get the hell out of here. Get the fuck out, Larry. Uh, uh, Get the fuck out. Are you okay, sir? I'm so sorry. It's not your sit, fault. Sit it's down. not your fault. You idiots are gonna make Piper have to do paperwork. Take a seat and let night kick you over. Yeah, I can do, I can uh, do my thing. Yeah. Here, I've got my medical bag here. Ooh, Just take a seat. I can't believe you were right. I can't believe it. I told you. You guys have to give in to my intuitions. Yeah, well, it was really stupid of Larry to try anything with all of us around. Especially you, Pink. What did he tell you anyways? He was looking brothers. for you and you were his brother and he wanted to surprise you. Yeah, I didn't trust him the moment we met him. He was really no, friendly man, yesterday. Someone. He's no good, he's a drunk. He's a gambling drunk. You guys end up seeing where he went, by the way. To Valentine. Pink, can you go with Piper? Uh -huh. And point him out. Yep. It's not much, Roy, but I can offer you some brandy unopened, you know, for your troubles. I am so sorry. No, it's all right, Lydian. Like I said, it's not your fault. He does things like this all the time. Is that him? That is him, right? And that looks like the man that was here. What do you want, Larry? Let's go talk this out. Just me and you, like, man. After you stab no, me already? I... Yeah, men don't stab each other, mate. That was an accident. I was just pulling it out. You happen to be in the way. Is that what we're going mm -hmm. with? Well, let's go talk this out. I ain't talking nothing out with you, Larry. Get the hell out of here. Larry, back off. Oh, what are you guys doing? Back off. I will not let you hurt this man any further. Take one more step. All right, all right. Settle down. It's pretty simple, mate. Doesn't have the pocket watch. Doesn't have your inheritance. <laughs> you know, Might as well just guy. get lost and leave. Let's just talk it out. You hand over that knife, I'll talk it out with you. I'll hand it over. Now drop every single weapon you have. I want you to empty your pocket on the ground. Drop it all, Larry. Don't be stupid now. There you go. That's all I got. Give me one reason to believe you, Larry. You already played a fool of me once. <laughs> I did play you for a fool. We just got a little heated in there. I didn't mean to do that. Most I'll check his pockets. I'll check his and, uh, just you better got... keep your hands up. Hands are up. Come on, Roy. All right, he's fine. He's fine. I'll go talk it out with him. He's got no weapons on him. If he tries anything, can I can I finish right. stitching you up though? Thank you. Thank you. Thank. You. It was you! I think. Why are you so stupid today? Why can't you just let your brother live? Mm -hmm. He's alive, isn't he? Yeah, well, would he have been alive if we didn't step in? Alright, Larry. Let's go. Alright. Good drink. Not surprised. Just, let me just, uh... Alright. 
there. You got to get it together. Yeah, got thirteen dollars left, man. Thirteen dollars. You don't got no work or nothing. No work. Thirteen dollars. Trying to put on a show, you know. You bring me down here to Valentine, thinking I was gonna make some business. You know, it's funny. You really do hang around some loose-lipped individuals. There's a fella I met at the saloon here in Valentine. He told me that you gave him a gun. You talking about Quincy? I don't know his fool's name. He was quick to give your name up, though. <laughs> told me exactly where he saw you. He didn't even ask any questions. I barely even. I didn't even mention my name. People here are stupid. Don't shake Larry. your head at me. What? You're broke. You're drunk. What are you doing with your life, Larry? I'm just living. Unlike you, always think about the future. I'm living in the present. I'm living in time right now. I don't need to worry about anything. Cause look at me. I feel great. You look like shit. You look like you got me with an ugly stick. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the good times, man. There were some good times, huh? You know, we can change things up out here, Larry. Wow, you ain't no farmer anymore, man. We can make some better decisions out here, I'm telling you. Learn from our mistakes, get some money, get cleaned up, do something different, something to help other people, make a change, you know? Listen, Roy, I'm a disgrace. Oh, I don't feel so good. Larry, you alright? I think I'll be okay. You got a lot to learn, Larry. You got a lot to learn. You ain't gonna learn it getting drunk every day. All right, I give up. Come on, let's get you cleaned up. All right. I hate his pants so much. All it's right, y'all. I appreciate I you guys uh, looking out for me and whatnot. I'm sorry, guys. Larry, just just pick you up your things. You better be. Well, I'm really sorry. If oh, I Larry, see you point a gun at someone, I will not hesitate to shoot you. I'm sorry, Pink. You gotta be nice to people, B. I'm rude sorry, so Nate. I'm sorry, you Nate. You're a rude dude. I'm you sorry, have to be Nate. a nice dude. You, you're mean. We took you on Step an adventure today. Me, or I will uh, give you the back end. I'm really sorry. That club is shit. I had a, a momentary lapse in judgment. You know, that's uh, That was a long moment. That was like two hours. Also, I've been drinking all day. I know you guys haven't seen me. I'm really good at hiding it, you know. You're an alcoholic. Come on, Larry. Get it together. Come on. All right. All right. Wait, Roy. Your stuff's right here. Come on. You take it. I can't take that. I feel guilty. All right, Larry. Come on. I keep it moving. Uh, where are we going? Pink, I'll go. Get, I'll get my stuff from you one time, maybe later. Maybe no, tomorrow. I didn't. I didn't pick your stuff. Up. Larry, I got it. Come on. All right, pick up. Uh, maybe, maybe tomorrow I. Can get it. But I didn't pick your stuff up. What? Come on, Larry. Keep walking straight. I'm so drunk. It looks like you're just going all all kinds of ways. Which ways? Feel like hell. Well, you know what? I feel much better up here. I think the air's different up here. All right, y'all be safe. Hi, Sorry about the you. mess. Where the hell are we going anyway, Roy? To a place I know. We're gonna talk about how we're gonna make this better. How we're gonna get you better. How we're gonna make money. How we're gonna make a difference. 